New Yankee fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all the stars. Let's get it. The Yankees have won four straight games. They continue to win series. Oh, my God. Are these the same New York Yankees? No, they're not. These are fresh new faces that once they put the pinstripes on, they know they need to perform. You know why? Because they're playing for the New York Yankees. Something that this roster coming into the season forgot. They forgot there were New York Yankees. It's like having a trophy wife. You're married for a couple of years. You get lazy. You don't show her attention anymore. It's like uh, the movie Scarface when uh, Tony Montana took uh, away Frank's wife. Yeah, because Frank got a little comfortable. Just like these Yankees that were comfortable being Yankees. And look at that. Look at the difference when you mix in a couple of left-handed bats in the lineup. The Yankees suddenly start to win. Uh, take Greg Allen for an example. In my previous video, I told you guys he's taking good cuts uh, on the left side of the plate. He's a switch hitter. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, I tweeted saying that, look at that, the Yankees are having success uh, taking uh, left side cuts at the plate. So shove those analytics where the sun doesn't shine. So speaking upon fresh new faces, you guys remember my uh, previous video where I told you guys that the Yankees like new age uh, fans. That once they start winning, their priorities and let's say making a trade goes down. But luckily for you guys, there's a crew at nynews.com. Francis, Pete, Austin, Joe, Arby, me. We're going to continue to keep the Yankees foot to the fire. Meaning if the Yankees somehow win 10 straight games in the regular season still... We still know what the Yankees have to do to reach the promised land, to win number 28, or heck, even make the playoffs. So speaking about Pete and the rest of the crew, Francis and Pete on their podcast, Designated Spitters, they're going to have a special guest on. This guy is very popular on Twitter now. He is the son of Gary Sheffield, Gary Sheffield Jr. So be on the lookout for that. So... Going into the main concept of this video, the Astros, they have one of the best records in Major League Baseball. The Astros being a thorn on the Yankees side for seasons now. The Astros picking up players, training for players that the Yankees, who knows, they were asleep on the wheel and they missed out on them. And again, the Astros are going to do it again. They are interested in Yankees targets, Starling Marte which is a certified fact. The Yankees are highly interested in him. I don't know if they are interested in Mad Max. You must be a moron if you're not. The Astros are also gunning for Max Scherzer. Which brings me to a comment somebody made on my channel saying that I'm a moron. I must not be a Yankees fan if I believe the Yankees are going to try to trade for Max. So let me reply to people like that. Um, you know, Starling Marte is a free agent in 2022, right? And you don't know if you're going to resign him. With Mad Max, if you trade for him, he's going to demand an extension. He's going to demand a new contract. So basically, you're going to give up practically some of the same players if you go for Starling Marte. Maybe possibly a little bit more for Mad Max, but it's a guarantee that Mad Max is going to stay on your team for seasons to come. These are the same kind of Yankees fans that were wet for Sonny Gray. Yeah, how, how did that turn out? These are the same fans that were saying Verlander was finished. With no proof, might I add. No stats to back it up. So again, Yankees fans. Yankees front office. Do not make the same mistake again. Do not let the Astros beat you again come trade deadline. The cheating scandal is over. Alex Cora with the Red Sox, he's performing as well. The Astros with uh, Dusty Baker, they're performing as well. Let's stop living in the past. Let's stop chaining. Altuve sucks. Let's go for the jugular. Get players that are going to improve the Yankees. And it's common sense. If the Astros are after them, learn your lesson, beat them at it. Don't be afraid to get down and dirty. So Yankees fans, yet again, leave your opinions in the comment section below. 
This has been Felix from nynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. <laughs>